going to continue his journey through our research and technical center, making his way next to our hydrogen area. Back in 2019, Bloom announced aggressive plans to enter the commercial hydrogen market. Collaborating with industry-leading organizations, Bloom Energy has ce celebrated several milestones since that time in the hydrogen space. We announced the commercial availability of both hydrogen-powered energy servers and electrolyzers that produce clean hydrogen. Our 100 kilowatt energy server uh, pilot project in the Republic of Korea commenced operations in April 2021, and our electrolyzer was successfully installed in Gumi, South Korea, and has been producing hydrogen since January of this year. Bloom and the Department of Energy's Idaho National Laboratory established an agreement to test the use of nuclear energy to create zero carbon hydrogen using our electrolyzer. And most recently, leveraging Heliogen's concentrated solar technology and Bloom's electrolyzer, Heliogen and Bloom successfully demonstrated an economical pathway to scalable green hydrogen production. And then in December, I'm very excited to announce that in December of 2021, the Bloom Electrolyzer was named Emerging Technology of the Year at the 23rd Annual S&P Global Platts Global Energy Awards. Let's check back in with Scott to learn more about the exciting work Bloom is doing in the hydrogen space. Scott, take it away. So Justin, I'm outside. We're standing here by some really, really cool technology. And I'm joined by an old friend and colleague, Martin Perry. Martin, how long have you been at Bloom Energy? Uh, I've been at Bloom for 19 years now. And you've got a ton of experience working on fuel cells and electrolyzer technology. Yeah, so my 30-year career in fuel cells and uh, electrolyzers have spanned a number of different platforms, uh, solid oxide, PAM, alkaline. Uh, so a lot of experience getting us to this place today. Okay, so this is an exciting place to be for both of us. Why don't you explain what's going on right here with our hydrogen fuel cell? So just like what we do with the natural gas-based fuel cell, uh, we're putting in a fuel, instead of natural gas, it's hydrogen. And that hydrogen goes into our system, goes through the same electrochemical reaction, and produces electrons in a very clean and sustainable way. So is this process much different than running on, say, biogas or natural gas? Absolutely not. In fact, the premise of our natural gas-based systems is actually the reaction is on hydrogen itself. So when we went from natural gas to hydrogen, it was a very smooth transition. We're able to take hydrogen directly into our systems with very minimal changes or impact. So these systems right now are, are running on hydrogen? They are. Where, where is the hydrogen right now? The hydrogen is in a nice big white tank down at the end of the, the building there, and it gets piped into here, and then gets distributed to each of these power modules. So all these cameras we have going right now, my electric car on the other side yep. of the building, all the lighting we have inside, all that's being powered by hydrogen. Everything that we do in this facility is being powered by hydrogen. Okay, and what, what was it like to go from natural gas, biogas development to hydrogen, how long does something like that take to make it possible? Um, it was fairly straightforward. Again, like I said, the hydrogen was the basis of our electrochemical reaction to begin with. So for us to switch over from natural gas to hydrogen was practically seamless. We had to make a few changes in some of the hardware and some of the controls, but for the most part, the, hard, the big components are exactly the same, and they're manufactured on the same production line uh, that we do our natural gas-based systems. Okay, that's great. So one of the big questions then is, I know we've got a tank back here, Yes. but we need a lot of hydrogen to power these fuel cells, so where's that hydrogen going to come from? We have a solution for that. We have a solution Scott. for that. So Justin, back to you. We're going to walk over to the electrolyzers, and why don't you kick us off? Thank you, Scott. While Scott makes his way over to see the electrolyzer, it's worth noting that dozens of countries across the globe have committed to net zero emissions goals by 2050 in more than 30 countries and counting have hydrogen-specific strategies that are being activated. As the hydrogen economy grows, the need for hydrogen for energy storage and power generation will accelerate. For power generation, as production of hydrogen becomes ubiquitous, Bloom Energy's hydrogen fuel cells will be another option in moving to net zero emissions. Let's check back in with Scott. So, Justin, we are now standing in front of some really, really cool technology, also something that Martin spent a lot of time working on. So, Martin, what are we looking at here? 
here we're looking at uh, the components that make up an electrolyzer system. So we have one power module on the left, which is what we use to distribute the electricity that we need to make the hydrogen, and then the module on the right is the actual electrolyzer. And you can see it's almost identical to what we have for the hydrogen or the uh, methane or the natural gas based systems that we run. Okay, so these systems right now are generating hydrogen. They are, absolutely. We're taking power in from the grid and we're producing hydrogen on site right here. Okay, so same question as I asked before. We spent a lot of time doing this. Yes. What does it take to go from a, a fuel cell that makes power to an electrolyzer that makes hydrogen. So I'm going to sound repetitive, but it's almost <laughs> the same thing. So instead of consuming fuel to produce electricity, we're using electricity to produce fuel. And the same components, the same stack components, the same cell geometry, the same manufacturing components are all used to bring this to fruition. And so what has it been like in terms of testing and performance and you know, have you been happy with how these have yeah. run so far? We've been ecstatic. So uh, we started uh, Bloom Energy back in the very early days doing electrolyzers. We kind of put it on the shelf for a little while, and then we brought it back in 2019. And in those two and a half years since we've been manufacturing, uh, it's exceeded all of our expectations. We're hitting our, our model targets, and the production of hydrogen we couldn't be happier with. And so in terms of the efficiency of the fuel cell, kind of uh, huge amounts of efficiency for the fuel cells. Yes. What about the efficiency of electrolyzers? How does that compare to other technologies? So compared to our fuel cell, we're very similar. Uh, we're in that upper 50s uh, percent range for LHV conversion. For the hydrogen fuel cell. For the hydrogen fuel yeah. cell. And when we come over to the electrolyzer, we're by far the most efficient of all the other technologies, be it PEM, be it alkali. So we can hit very high numbers on our electrolyzer, which makes it one of the most attractive aspects of this whole hydrogen economy emerging. So this must be pretty exciting. Somebody who spent his whole career working on hydrogen and fuel cells, this day is pretty cool, right? Absolutely. Uh, when I started my career in fuel cells, hydrogen was the impetus for us to develop the technology. It was on a bit of a hiatus with natural gas, but that's where we needed to be at that time. And now we're back to hydrogen. So it feels like we've come full circle. Everybody's excited about the adoption of hydrogen as a future fuel, and I couldn't be happy. This is great. Very exciting here, Justin. Back to you, my friend. Scott, are you having fun out there? All right. Sounds like Scott is enjoying himself. Scott, I look forward to getting over there and seeing it firsthand this afternoon. Uh, thank you to Scott. Thank you to the Bloom team for an informative discussion this morning about how Bloom's technology will support decarbonization efforts around the world. And thank you to those of you joining us today virtually to learn more about our growing business. In just a few moments, we will turn our attention to the main stage right here at our Fremont Manufacturing Plant where Bloom leadership will kick off formal business presentations and our formal program for today's conference. You will soon hear directly from our leadership team as they articulate our vision of a decarbonized energy future and detailed plans to execute an aggressive multi-year growth strategy. Thanks for joining us and please stand by.